Hi everyone, I'm your Miss Vermont 2023 Yamuna Turco and welcome to the Miss Vermont Voice. This is an interview style show where I speak with local members of the community and different people who are maybe even involved with the Miss Vermont or Miss America organizations. Um, today, I have a former Miss Vermont community member, teacher, and educator, and that is Riley Field. Hi. Hi, thank you for coming. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you. So Riley, you are, as I said, you're an educator, you're a teacher and an advocate, but you were also Miss Vermont 2016. So would you mind telling me a little bit about your time as Miss Vermont? Sure. Uh, being Miss Vermont was a phenomenal experience, and I always say that being part of the Miss Vermont organization is what led me to where I am now. So even though I'm a teacher and I don't wear a crown in the classroom, um, I am a teacher because of the experiences that I had that when I was Miss Vermont and because of the people I met when I was Miss Vermont. Um, and following my time in the organization as a title holder, I became a board member for a few years and a volunteer in the years in between. So it's something that really shaped who I am now, even though day to day, not as glamorous, <laughs> not even close. Um, so you mentioned that you were part of the board. So would you mind telling us how long you were on the board and maybe your role on the board? Sure, I was on the board for three years and I was the social media and marketing chair. And it was really exciting to be part of the behind the scenes of Miss Vermont. I was a contestant and a candidate for so long before I won and then I was a title holder that getting to be part of the organization and bringing in girls who wanted to be part of this organization and being part of the voice that is Miss Vermont on social media was really exciting. Um, and it was a fun way to be able to support the the board, which is all volunteer based, um, without feeling like I was right back where I started. Would you say then, because of your involvement with the organization and the board, um, that all of the changes that have been going on make you want to be more involved or want to bring more girls into the organization? Certainly bring more girls into the organization. Um, nothing that has happened within the Miss America opportunity since I have been Miss Vermont or since I even started being involved in the program has made me want to step back from the organization. I think because at its heart it is about scholarships and about empowering women, there's nothing that I see uh, in the organization thus far that has made me want to remove myself. I love more than anything though that the Miss Vermont organization really focuses on growing leaders for Vermont and I think that outside of the Miss America opportunity the Miss Vermont scholarship organization is something that just is so invaluable to the women and the young girls in Vermont. Yeah that's really great I would as a current title holder I would definitely have to agree my mission is to get more girls to join more people because also, the more people that are a part of our organization, the more scholarships we're able to give Absolutely. out, the more scholarship dollars we're able to give Absolutely. out as well. So that would be super ideal. So as I mentioned before, you're a teacher and an educator, um, and my platform is child literacy. Is there anything that I can do or that the people of Vermont can do to better support their teachers? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the simplest thing that I can say is that you should uh, vote for things that support education right. in the state of Vermont. Yes. Um, vote for school board members that are champions for children and, and vote in local elections for people that are looking to support local schools. Um, but I am a teacher here in Vermont and I teach special education, which is a really vulnerable population of our students. And it's it's been incredibly rewarding. One of the things that I tell people, whether or not they have kids or they're just supporting students in Vermont, is that there is no harm in reading to a child. Um, so you're right on the money there it's with your platform. True. <laughs> it, it's true. And it's one of those things that I think, like Miss Vermont, has the ability to open doors in ways that we don't understand until it happens. Right. Um, and so much like I always say that Miss Vermont led me to here, I truly believe that reading to kids and exposing kids to literature as early as possible and as often as possible is something that's going to benefit them down the line. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've gone over kind of the broad overarching things, definitely what we can do in Vermont to support our teachers. Um, this may sound a bit funny, but is there anything nationwide that as a teacher and as an educator you would like to see kind of bolstered to increase the support for teachers? 
I, I just don't know if we have the time. Right. I, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the list is really long, mm -hmm. right? We're supporting kids in schools because we want quality teachers and we want to be able to give them quality instruction. We also want to be able to feed kids in schools. Yes. We also want to be able to keep kids safe in schools. We also want kids to be able to be themselves in schools. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, right? On a national scale, what can you do as a Vermonter? What can you do as Miss Vermont? I think the, the answer is really simple, is you get involved in your community schools. Um, especially here in Chittenden County, we have the ability to really support community-based schools and neighborhood-based elementary schools in a way that is not typical all over the state of Vermont. And being able to volunteer or donate or give time, energy, things that are not just money, to these programs and to these schools is, it's life changing. Um, you might think that giving an hour of your lunch once a week to be a recess monitor is really small, but you have the ability to build relationships even in that one hour a week. Yeah, that's really great and I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna keep that with me and kind of continue doing that. And also as someone who was technically a local title holder before, you know, the Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization, we don't have necessarily competitions to be local title holders but to have that I think that's a great way to start absolutely definitely you absolutely know, and I started as a local title exactly holder. So. I, I had multiple local titles before I won Miss Vermont and and it was you're right it's all about getting into the community you're already in um, you don't have to have a crown and sash to be able to support students or whoever your platform yeah. might not be literacy related or student related, but you still have the ability to get into um, local options that allow you to volunteer and support other people. Yeah, definitely. That's really great. Thank you so much. You're so, so kind of going over everything, there are a couple updates that I'm going to go over that kind of pertain to the Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization, but also to the much larger Miss America Opportunity, which is one of the updates. Um, let's, okay. So we're going to start out. The Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization, if you would like to get involved in your community in a way that might make you more quote unquote visible, um, you should be involved in your community regardless of in what way, in my humble opinion. But if you would like to get involved in this way, we are starting to think about our v Miss Vermont and Miss Vermont's Teen 2024 class. Um, if you'd like to learn more, um, there's the MissVermont.org um, website or you can reach out to me on social media or via email. Um, we really want to increase this class. We want to make sure that there's so many young women a part of this organization for scholarships, for opportunities, and just to really boost your self-esteem and confidence. That was probably the biggest non-tangible thing that yes, I took away from this. Absolutely. It was amazing. I think the biggest thing that I learned the first time I was part of the Miss Vermont class, which, mind you, was back in 2012, okay? <laughs> so I don't want to date myself <laughs> too much, but it was in 2012, um, was that I could be Miss Vermont. Yeah. And I think I entered that class and entered that opportunity being like, well, I'm going to be Miss Washington County and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, and I left that year on the stage. I was third runner up. I didn't win. Um, but I left being like, oh, I can do this. Can I can really do this. do this. And it's achievable and it's possible. Absolutely. And so many young women that are a part of our organization end up becoming Miss Vermont or Absolutely. Miss Vermont's teen. But even if you don't, you gain so much from the experience. And sometimes you gain scholarship it's, dollars and too. And sometimes you'll gain a scholarship even if you don't end up winning. Yeah, and that's a lot of our thing. girls do. A lot of people do. And they win lots of money and lots of opportunities. And I think that's the greatest part. I so if you'd like to be a part of our 2024 class or even have any questions, you can reach out to me on social media or via email. I can also include more information at the end of this. Um, the next big change is the Miss America organization is no longer the Miss America organization. It's now the Miss America opportunity. And that's to emphasize the focus on that this is an opportunity. It creates a year-long program, or if you end up being crowned Miss America or Miss America's teen, almost two years that you have an opportunity to work with community partners, um, different community members, just people across your state, but also sponsors, and you get to maybe have a talk show like this. <laughs> and you get to work on your social your community service initiative, that name also changed. Nice. Um, <laughs> right? And emphasize that and focus on that. And I think it's pretty great that they're wanting to do that for us. You also meet some of the most phenomenal women oh, yeah. in the country. I never met more people that were as driven, as smart, as 
kind, as willing to give their time and their energy and their expertise than when I went to Miss America. And now you now you also have a friend in every state. Exactly. Which you can't beat it. It's like 50 other people. That's <laughs> pretty great. And you all share this experience together. And no, no class, so that's what we call them, no class will be the same. No, it's so, a once in a lifetime experience. Exactly. Every and, single time. And that's incredible. Um, and then the last thing, which is kind of a personal tidbit, but a lot of people ask when Miss America is going to be, mm. but that does begin with orientation. So Miss America orientation um, is supposed to be Labor Day weekend, and that's the current time we have set. Um, I'm super excited to meet these 50 other young women that I'm going to be competing with. You're going to love it. And these 50 other people that I get to have this year with, this incredible experience. Um, Do you know where orientation is going to be or are you allowed to share where orientation is um, going to be? That's not fully confirmed. Okay. I have an idea, but I won't share it just because if, okay, if it's Okay, we'll not, be surprised in later exactly, episodes. Exactly, you will. You'll yes. be surprised next episode or even the one after that in September. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the updates that I have. Thank you so much, Riley, for Thank being Thank you on for the having show me. Today. I'm so, so excited to be your first official guest. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that the first guest I had was someone a part of the organization, but also someone who is super involved in their community and wants their community to, to succeed. Yes, and that's, I love Burlington, and you. I love Vermont. <laughs> it's been a part of my life for 30 plus years, so it can't be beat. No, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching the Miss Vermont Voice. I'm your Miss Vermont, Yamuna Turco. Have a good night.